If you want to use Flipgrid in Canvas, the first thing you need to do is create a Flipgrid account. It's free using the login that you're going to use for your class. So like your school email, for example, to sign into Flipgrid. You do not want to set up any grids yet. I have some previous ones here that I've used in other classes, but if I'm going to connect it to my Canvas course, what I'm going to do is click on my name up at the top right hand corner and I'm going to choose integrations. Now I need to add a new integration. So I'm going to click on the link and I'm going to add a name for this Canvas integration. So I'm going to call it um, something that resembles the name of my course. So this is for a professional development I'm doing. So I'm putting the name of the district and then I'm going to say create. And it gives me a consumer key and a shared secret. So now what I need to do is go into my Canvas course, go to the settings of my Canvas course, go to apps, and then choose Flipgrid. And hopefully you spell it correctly the first time, unlike me. Then you're going to choose add app, and here's a space for your consumer key and your shared secret. So I'm going to go back over to Flipgrid, I'm going to copy the consumer key and then I'm going to copy the shared secret and choose add app. Now Flipgrid is installed into my Canvas course. I do not need to change that unless you end up getting a new course depending on your district and how it rolls things over each semester or each year. But once I have this integration, I can create multiple assignments. So I have an assignment that I've already kind of started right here that has my instructions. And what I like to do is I actually like to have a rubric for Flipgrid for my students if I'm grading their Flipgrids. And I like to incorporate that into SpeedGrader. Now, if you've used Flipgrid before, you've noticed that there are rubrics inside. There's a generic one, and then you can customize it. I don't use those, those don't transfer over into Canvas. What I like to do is when I create my assignment first, I do not link it as an external tool. I just keep it as like a no submission assignment or I, um, I could keep it something kind of simple. And I need to add a due date for this. And then I'm gonna say save. So I haven't connected my Flipgrid yet. However, that allows me to add my rubric into Canvas that I could use with SpeedGrader. And so you can put in your generic rubric. Um, if you've used one before, you can do that. I'm just going to keep it simple and put this um, really simple for right now. And I'm going to say that I want to use this rubric for assignment grading. And I'm going to create the rubric. And it says that the points don't match. So I need to, um, I can change it um, to make it match. All right. Now that I have this rubric attached, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go edit the assignment. And now I'm going to choose Submission Type, External Tool. You click on Find, click on Flipgrid, and Select. Nothing really happens. What you need to do is save this assignment. And now you're going to see a window here connecting Flipgrid to Canvas. So I need to create my first course grid. And here's my grid now. So I have one that's titled, it pulls the name from your Canvas course, which is here. And then what I'm going to do is add my topic focus. So for my topic focus, I can choose information here. I have never seen this Furwala editor purchasing a license before. That is new to me. Um, that has never popped up in the year that I've been using this. But in this section, this might be your description of your assignment. 
and I have one here that I'm going to copy over from a previous Canvas um, assignment that I've used. And so I can copy that, and then I can choose how long the recording time is, how long I want to give people to record. You can choose. You have up to 10 minutes. For video moderation, this here means that once a student submits a video, if I have this checked, their video will not be posted until I watch the video and post it previously, or uh, post it after watching. So this could be if you want students to turn in a video for only your eyes, or if you are unsure about trusting your students and you want to make sure that you're watching everything first. With my high school students, I generally leave it unmoderated, but maybe the first time, especially at the beginning of the year when you're getting to know your students, you might want to moderate, so that is up to you. You can add in media. So this could be a picture, an image, it could be a video. So I'm gonna put grading, this is about grades. I'm just gonna pick one because, all right, so I'm gonna say select. Topic tips, so you can have specific tips for students if you need to. You can add links and attachments. So this could be if you have readings or articles, you could write those out here. Um, in your instructions up top here, you can also have links. So you can hyperlink any of these. When I copied and pasted it over, the links, the hyperlinks didn't work, but you can see in my original version, I have hyperlinks from my previous assignment that I've used. And then I can add some other things or make some other decisions, whether you want to freeze it or not. Um, you don't need to click require email for responses since it's embedded into Canvas. You can choose whether it's active, frozen, or hidden. I'm just going to keep it active because I want to assign to the students. And then you can give them permission to make selfies, to like other people's videos, to add attachments, to add sticky notes, which are little sticky notes that pop up so students could write out their response first and kind of read it, have it just right up near their camera on their screen. And the feedback here, this is the built-in feedback. You can't turn it off. But I, again, like to use rubrics in Canvas because then it makes it um, accessible in SpeedGrader. So I could grade in SpeedGrader to have it go into the grade. And then I, am, I normally choose, once I have my like default settings, I save them here. And then update topic. Now it's ready for my students, once I go in and add my links. Um, but it's ready for my students, and I can view all of theirs here but I can go to speed grader to grade individual students. And I don't have any students in here yet, um, so there's nothing for me to grade at the moment to show you that, but I will be able to go through and grade everything.